Hey folks, thanks for tuning in for another Star Wars Black Series review. We've got the, the, we're back with window packaging. How good is this? We have Darth Vader, Jules End. This is the uh, battle damage Vader from Obi-Wan Kenobi. One of the most powerful, or the most powerful moment of the series for me. Um, yeah, the return of Darth Vader when he's uh, second duel with his former master Obi-Wan Kenobi the number 15 says here as the momentous battle between Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi nears its end Kenobi peers past the armoured vis visage of his former apprentice to see what Anakin Skywalker has become so yeah it's a nice looking figure been looking forward to this one wasn't expecting it for quite a little quite a while actually I I don't know, I just feel like the lead time from announcement was uh, quite short this time around, but not complaining. Again, it's just <laughs> being able to get that light into the packaging um, and see the figure itself. I was able to actually pick from a couple to make sure mine was the best looking one. You know, mainly looking at the paint apps of the face underneath, but it, they all look pretty damn good to me. So I, uh, I was able to cherry pick, which was nice. Nice image of Vader there. So without further ado, let's open him up and have a look at this awesome version of Vader. All right, so here we have a nice, nice look at the head sculpt here. So you can sort of see where it's all being sort of cut away. I'll try to keep my fingers out of it just to stop it from shifting focus. So it's really nice, the sculpt of the helmet with all the, the way it's been sliced through both the top shell and the outer shell. You can even still see all the mechanics sort of in the top, under the top shell there. So we all know what Vader's helmet looks like up without the uh, the big dome on. You just kind of see some of the, uh, the electronics and bits and pieces that he has under there. But uh, yeah, the head sculpt underneath is really good. You know, that looks fantastic. And what I loved about this jewel is, you know, cosmetically, when you when Vader takes his helmet off at the end of Return of the Jedi, he's got this big scar down the top of his head. And obviously this jewel here, that explains exactly how that happened. You kinda of, you kinda of even see his his mouth down there. I am eager to see whether there is anyone out there that will pull this thing apart and see exactly what lies underneath. <laughs> you know, if you were to remove the whole helmet, I assume it's just a one-sided thing. But yeah, I think I think that's a per really nice representation of you know Anakin Skywalker from this moment. You see, it looked a lot more red in the series, but that was due to the fact that he was holding up his lightsaber blade. And that ambient red light was sort of reflecting in there. So yeah, that's not going to come off, not going to separate. But the, uh, the paint detail on the eyes look amazing. You can sort of see that. Sith gold red in the eye. Sort of dark sort of scarring and sh dark eyes around the eyes. Again, you know, this is the whole point of the review is really getting to see this part of the figure. What Hasbro's done here is absolutely fantastic. I have actually pre-ordered the deluxe version of the Hot Toys as well, so I'm looking forward to whenever it is that may come. Have a look at that. That's that's just brilliant. Love it. It's two sides. And I'd love them to do a you know Malachor Vader for the Rebels for a so from Ahsoka's duel where she takes off the other side of his mask. Obviously, we've got the Return of the Jedi Vader coming out very, very soon. Should be out within the next few weeks, I think. 
uh, Return of the Jedi Vader that we can take his mask off entirely. But yeah, this looks absolutely fantastic. I just love that sort of rough cut edges. The paint details really, really nice. Now, considering most of Vader's black, well, while we're here, we'll take a look, give a nice closer look at his uh, chest box there, which Obi Wan slashed out and smashed out with the with the end of his lightsaber hilt. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really glad. This one turned out as good as it did. I'm looking forward to seeing some toy photos. Looking forward to taking some toy photos myself of this one. But yeah, love to hear your thoughts. Definitely a nice figure, pairs very nicely with uh, the Jabim Obi-Wan Kenobi, which recently was released, so definitely see some photo love together. So please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I'd greatly appreciate it. Love everyone's support. Um, yeah, thanks for checking this one out. Uh, we'll check in more throughout the week with some more videos. Got some more reviews coming up. So until then, may the force be with you, always.